Hello, I'm Dr. Frances Pitsilis. I've never seen anyone sick or stressed look any good. And the reason for that, in part, is the nutritional deficiency that disease and stress causes, along with hormonal and other deficiencies. So I'm going to talk to you about how it's not just what you eat, but it's what you eat, absorb, and are able to eliminate um, that influences your skin and the health of your skin and how you look. In my experience, many women in childbearing age are low in iron and B12. And they're both important for energy production, which then helps the cells do what they need to do. Another thing that is important for energy production, which your body actually makes and does not get from food, is coenzyme Q10. Your body needs to have good gut flora, adequate B vitamins, and... Um, good cellular function to make coenzyme Q10 and it's used on the skin as an antioxidant um, but also when it's inside your body it's an antioxidant and it improves cellular energy so that the cells then can do what they need to do more efficiently. Interestingly enough women tend to get copper dominant as they get older and if they've been taking the contraceptive pill So sometimes we don't want them to have too much copper But we need enough copper because it's a trace element found in organ meats like liver, seafood, mushrooms, beans, nuts, whole grains and chocolate And copper helps one of our natural antioxidants called superoxide dismutase Hence we have these copper peptide creams that often uh, come as eye creams. Um, and they are important to prevent damage of cross-links between the amino acids that make collagen. Fish oil is important because it's a natural anti-inflammatory and you can get that in sardines and fish and in capsules of fish oil. In the diet, there are things called polyphenols and there are subsets within this huge polyphenol antioxidant food provider that are called flavanols and the flavanols and um, anthocyanides and proanthocyanides and hesperidins and quercetin and rutin they're all just names for these foods that are rich in different coloured antioxidants like blueberries and green tea and soy products. Um, these natural molecules are antioxidants and anti-inflammatories and help the skin uh, a lot. They're rich in vitamins C, A, E and lycopene which also helps the skin. Coffee is not something that you would naturally get in your diet, but it's something that um, you can take for its flavonoids and antioxidant action. Magnesium is found in green leafy vegetables, nuts, peas, beans and whole grains. It is important for 600 reactions in the body and its main help is for energy production in the cells. But along with zinc, it's very important in the production of gastric acid. Now, this is where digestion comes into play. If you're having wonderful diet but not digesting it, you're not going to get the breakdown products and the vitamins um, that you need for your skin and for your body. A simple way to find out whether you need gastric acid is to take a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar on an empty stomach. If nothing happens you need more. But if you get any reflux, it means you've got enough. Manganese is also helpful for superoxide dismutase, one of the natural antioxidants, and it's found in foods including nuts, fruits and vegetables, including hazelnuts, blackberries, pineapples, lentils, beans and whole grains. But manganese, like a lot of the other minerals or vitamins, although they are found in whole grains, they're often lost when the grain is milled. Selenium is deficient in the soil in New Zealand, and so it's important to have two Brazil nuts a day. But otherwise, it would be found in seafood, liver, red meat, brewer's yeast, kelp, garlic, milk, eggs, and grains. 
it spares vitamin E, which vitamin E works with vitamin C to help your skin. And selenium also helps your body make another important natural antioxidant called glutathione. Vitamin A has a, an important role in regulating the skin and is found um, in a lot of skin products. It helps the cell to know when to divide and when to turn into something good or bad and it keeps the skin safer as well. It's found in fatty fish, liver, dairy products and it's um, often helpful for acne and rosacea. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin, when deficient, causes cracks in the corners of the mouth. It's found in dairy products, fish, meats, especially liver and kidney, green vegetables and whole grains. Vitamin B3 or niacin is found in eggs, whole grains, liver, meat and legumes. When it's deficient, it causes a condition called pellagra which consists of diarrhea, dermatitis and dementia. Although pellagra would be rare in the civilised world, if um, anyone has dermatitis um, then, and diarrhea, you would all, always look at whether they might be deficient in vitamin B3. Vitamin B5 is drained along with B6, vitamin C, uh, by stress. And B5 is, is found in foods but it's also made by your gut flora. And the foods include liver, sunflower seeds and whole grains. It's very important for skin wound healing and collagen production. Vitamin C is the number one star vitamin for the skin. It is important for preventing brown pigmentation oxidation and damage to the skin and it boosts collagen production and wound healing. It is actually possible to be deficient in vitamin C in a western world where the diet might be poor and there is a lot of stress draining the vitamin C. Symptoms can include bleeding from the gums, uh, bruising in the skin, dry skin, poor wound healing and bent or coiled hairs. The sorts of um, fruits and vegetables include citrus fruits, black currants, tomatoes, rose hips, and vegetables, peppers, broccoli, and cabbage. However, a lot is lost in cooking. Vitamin D is not really a vitamin. It's a sterol derived from cholesterol and made by your body, but it's been found to have an important role in preventing the development of malignant melanoma. Vitamin E works hand in hand with vitamin C. They help each other. Food sources include wheat germ oil, vegetable oils or their seeds, uh, like sunflower oil and avocado oil, and nuts, especially hazelnuts and almonds. Zinc, like magnesium, is a very um, busy mineral, and it's the second star vitamin or mineral, along with vitamin C for the skin. It also helps the thyroid because a slow thyroid causes cracked, dry skin. Zinc is also important in helping with stomach acid. And it's found in animal products, lean red meat, seafood, especially herrings and oysters, yeast, pumpkin seeds, nuts, whole grains, leafy green vegetables and legumes. There has also been research in amino acids that you get from your food their protein building blocks. And the three main amino acids that make collagen and help wound healing are proline, lysine, and arginine. Um, so proline is concentrated in collagen and is involved in collagen production. And interestingly, you need vitamin C to help proline, to help um, collagen production. Uh, collagen is also uh, rich in lysine, an amino acid, which is essential for wound healing and is found in brewer's yeast, dairy products, eggs, fish legumes, meats, nuts, seafood, seeds, soy, whey, whole protein and gelatin. And gelatin is 33% lysine. Arginine helps the heart and lowers blood pressure, but it's also important for collagen production and it's found in fish, poultry, meat, oats, soy, 
walnuts, dairy products, carob, chocolate, brown rice, wheat and wheat germ, raisins and sunflower seeds. And cysteine is an amino acid precursor to glutathione, the most powerful antioxidant detoxifier of the body. And as with all the other amino acids, it comes from protein foods and animal foods and is found in eggs, meat, dairy products, grains and beans. So now you have an extensive list of vitamins, minerals, naturally made products and amino acids that would help you to look good and keep good skin. And as you can see, there's so many foods that you would have daily. And if you have a broad array of these foods, you can't help but get enough of these wonderful skin-defining substances.